Uh, it's that salesman again. I don't know why he keeps bothering me. Good morning! vault -Tec calling. vault -Tec? Remind me again. Why, we're about you, ma'am. And helping secure your future. Your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. I'm just passing through. Fair enough. But the enemy of my God enemy is my friend, right? Ugh. The world's changed so much. None of God this makes it. sense. You all right? Listen, we need your help. Tough break. You don't know the half of it. Sturgis, tell her. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Minigun? <laughs> now we're talking. I know, right? I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry. But Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ugh! You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> I can wait all day, Danny. Open up. You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Lay along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Sure. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Piper, who let you back inside? You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that Ooh, printer scrapped for parts. Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. 
Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? This hasn't been the friendliest welcome. She's got you there, McDonough. Guess not everyone gets won over by that shark smile of yours. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My baby boy, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? You hear that, McDonough? Is Diamond City Security just gonna stand by while a mother searches for her infant son all on her own? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. I hope so. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates anything? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um... Stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Yes? I thought I told you this ain't any of your concern. Never take a hit at Jet again, I swear. You stop waving that gun in my face. Or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. Ugh, I'm calling it right here. This world can officially bite my ass. Hey, we all got problems, all right? I'm just trying to collect on what's owed to me. Don't suppose you feel like helping us out? I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. Hi. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Look, you owe them money. If you just pay them, then this will be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. All right, I'll pay. But that bastard ain't gonna sell one more drop of jet to my boy. You'll get your money, but I better not catch you selling chems to my boy again. Fine by me, Trudy. Your son's broke as shit anyhow. All right, crisis is over. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. I hope you decide to change your life today. Welcome. Hello, neighbor. Hey. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? The whole world is broken. That's what I used to think. Until I found a way to make a difference. To transform my life. And maybe everyone else's too. We call ourselves the pillars of the community. We're a pretty new movement, so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth. And you can be part of this exciting future. Step right this way and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. Sounds good. Well, that's just fantastic. I know you're going to fit right in around here. I'm always excited to welcome a new member into our fold. We're always looking for new members. I hope you decide to become one of the pillars of the community. Don't be shy. Just follow me.
Right this way, neighbor. Alrighty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. You can't seriously think I'm handing over all my stuff. The world is full of s***ers, pal. Just look outside. Every one of them handed over everything they owned in return for... <laughs> well, hope. Sure, it's false hope, but hey, it was worth it to them. You can tell yourself whatever you want, but you're leaving here naked or horizontal. Your choice. What if I've changed my mind and don't want to join anymore? No, sorry. I'm afraid we're past that point. You really do need to give me everything. I'm walking out of here. Your choice, what you want to do about it. Ah, you're not worth the trouble. Plenty of easier marks. Get out of here before I change my mind. <laughs>